Hi, I'm Corey Ansel, and welcome to this week's Diversity Two Minute Drill. Today we're going to talk about water quality. If there are impurities in the water we use in our cleaning applications, it can have a big impact on the quality of our results and on your equipment. Most of the time we may not give that much thought to our water, and if it looks clear in a drinking glass, then we're probably okay with it. However, the unseen stuff that is dissolved in the water can have a big impact. Things like high iron content, dissolved calcium, or other solids can leave behind spots or stains on your glassware, windows, bathroom fixtures, and linen. To deal with water impurities, we can solve the problem up front, or we can treat the results after the water has been used. The two most common solutions for water impurities are water softeners or an RO or reverse osmosis system. Water softeners are designed to remove dissolved calcium from the incoming water by passing through a resin bed. In that softener, the calcium in your water bonds to the resin like metal to a magnet. And then overnight when you're not using your water in your building, that gets flushed out. So what we get is water that has those impurities removed from it. Now an RO system is different than that. It targets high TDS or dissolved solids in the water. With an RO system, your water passes through a membrane like this mesh screen that allows the water to pass through but not the impurity. So this golf ball is like TDS. It's too big to go through the mesh screen, but any water would go through there and I would have water that has no impurities left in it. If the water is not treated prior to use, then we need to consider the impact that these impurities will have on the cleaning process. In a dish machine that has hard water, a certain amount of your detergent is going to be tied up in dealing with the dissolved calcium. So if you have hard water, you will consume more detergent to get clean dishes. When a wa water evaporates off of a surface, the dissolved minerals will be left behind in the form of a scale film. And this is often a stubborn soil to remove. We see this on the inside of steamers, dish machines, faucets, and shower walls. To remove this soil, you're going to need an acidic product to get rid of that. Iron stains are most often seen on sink drains or in showers, and it can be a big problem for the laundry too. If you have iron staining, this is also removed with specialized acidic cleaners that we can use on those hard surfaces or in a laundry. If you need any assistance on dealing with these issues in your operation, please reach out to your local diversity representative or call our customer support line.